What's up, guys? Johnny, are you all right? <laughs> Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So... The girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am footloose and debt free, baby. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be seven star resort hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans! Ow! 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 Well, good for you. <laughs> uh... You okay there? Great! Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? You gotta follow some rogues. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Ah, uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? And... Action! Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others, an unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But, who am I truly? Who ties what rose? The one and only Yuffie! Here, jerk face, where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow pluck your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beat down? Oh, wait. Seriously? I mean, uh, we don't actually have to fight. That is, unless you really want to? Oh, abort, abort! Tactical retreat! <sighs> the hell is her deal? Hey! Where do you think you're going? <sighs> think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? You can come with. I knew you'd say that! Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> you try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu-Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
You won't regret this, or my name is a Yuki Kisaragi. <laughs> okay, let's see over here and. <laughs> You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh, wow, it is you. I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor, that's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would. And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy and run wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Do they have sure. a cute one that'll go with my sofa? Ah, memories. Are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. You got this! Naomi at Run Wild.
where would you like to go? I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. I'm trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. I wish you wouldn't. Why? Because I'm no romantic. Believe me, I know. Right. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Brett's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only serves to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper. I need to get back to the shop. Like, Yesterday, you're just at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. Jay! Wonder what sort of design the girls are going to come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Me? Yes, Got you. I'm down. curious. You know well, I prefer head. function over form. So, Where's durable, maybe spot? made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. The, 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 the best way to make tracks is on Chocobac! There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh! But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. No. You meant the shells, right? Right. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! He's never in doubt. We should be able to find some good shells around here. First, we clean up the trash. 
Troopers take half a shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one. Can you just say? Oh, that took a turn. DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? right? Dang, that thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shelves? Or... Ha! I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! See you there! Next time we need a chocobo, I say we write double. And slow down the bird? The best way to Which make, make it that much back. easier to take in all the scenery. All I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front. Get us inspired and fired up. It 
exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. something? Or did you just miss the unbeatable ambiance of my seaside paradise? Either way, I'm glad you're here, because I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt-free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So, yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse him. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot! Oh, How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? <sighs> it's true. Poor Yanni and I were separated at birth when he was ripped from our mother's arms. The creatures that stole him brought him up in the wild as one of their own and... No, he's not my twin. This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Stop, my bro! What are you doing here? Uh, Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No one knows me better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. You think? You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. We'd run before the fight began. So, you find, you find anything, anything, bro? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking them down. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. This is gonna be tough with just us. Oh, maybe I could make some clones of me and you to help out. That is a terrible idea. I think you meant to say terrific idea. 
Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. <laughs> well, what did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun. This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad. How about we take a look over there? Nah, I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not Materia, <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like I said, fun! No, not fun. Ooh. So, you find, find anything, anything bro? bro? Whoa! Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible! You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kinda sorta by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi! It's a thing we do. Hey there, bro! Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was it you? Not me! So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. way! You're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You do the best! Here! X marks the spot! Whoa, you actually found the chip? Way to go, bro! Once you've got all the necessary materials, you can transmute us a brand new boiler valve. Where's that chip? Time to put my... Oh, baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> Well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. Ugh. Where is he? Said he wanted to give the Hotel Royal Flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert-bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Fine. Just sit tight. I hope you know a way into the desert cloud, because I sure don't. Over the mountains? Or something? Oh, 
Your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. Out of service. So we've got a walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Ooh, so smart. I didn't get permission to yawn yet. How? Do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's in a piece of power. Tyrant! Tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the material I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya! <laughs> catch up later, my ass! <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Rick? You've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. You could try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never were to greet each other or something. You go. Ah, 
again? Well, look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... The Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. Hmm. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. 
Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes? There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. <laughs> Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. <laughs> I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Yeah? Let me in! Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. <sighs> I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. Huh. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith, but if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith, uh... Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith?
Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Midgar is. It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Over here! Sorry, we're late! You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd Recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises, and... no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. That's it. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. <sighs> well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. The old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They've been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers, ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but why the interim? Because once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! <laughs> hey! Come look at this! So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then, it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary. Oh, wow. 
tutelary creatures, set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey! Not cool! This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon! <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is. And talking won't stop him. cross till we lower it. the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. Alright, put on your mining helmets and follow me. first.
help them. Way ahead of ya! ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to... <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. These buttons ought to do it, but which one? Hmm. I got this. Uh. First that, then... Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Thank <laughs> you. 
others are gonna be okay, these tracks seem a lot ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. You're pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even see anything yet. Okay? <sighs> uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Clout didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of them as a tag along. <sighs> Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. Who it is? Mm -hmm. 
the great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Surprised you had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> there, a hero's welcome. Leave him alone. Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. To the wise, stay far away from that asshole. Now, where'd our buddies in black get to? Sorry, I'm sorry. How dare you show your face here? Hey, get the hell out of here. You sure you're okay with this? Yeah. She your new wife? Well, good for you. Glad someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore her. This place is nothing like it was. Neither are we. Hey, guys. You mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. As goes by, I don't think of my husband. His old gun's the only thing I've got. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. 
Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd, too. So... Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to! Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got up in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? What you see is what you get. No hidden codes, ciphers, nothing. But hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Cloud. The letter, if you don't mind. There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our rogue friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. So how do we... Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. <laughs> With blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Wouldn't recommend going out there. Their sense seems to lead straight ahead, but. Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> Aw. You must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Hmm. 
Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is to blow you off your game? Cloud, look. They gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, she asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood. This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! Huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. <sighs> the kidnapper could be anywhere or anyone. A smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brat! Wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Tied him up. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Stay a while! Sure, you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man.
Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and uh, beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Sud and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only dying is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Don. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. 
so, Mr. Mayor. Shall we put it to a vote? really how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Uh. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. <laughs> 